we will now discuss tension in strings in the figure below weight mg is tied to a string and the force of 10 newton is applied at 45 degree to the vertical at the middle of the string to find the magnitude and direction of t1 and t2 t2 is pulling the mass m in vertically upward direction and as per third law mass m is pulling the string in vertically downward direction so for mass m direction of t2 is up for the joint of t1 and t2 t2 is pulling the joint in vertically downward direction so for the joint of t1 t2 t2 is in vertically downward direction we may consider any point on the string t2 on lower side of point under consideration tension force is pulling the point downward while on the upper side of the point tension force is pulling the point in upward direction point is in equilibrium so force on lower and upper side are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction considering mass m as our system since the system is an equilibrium net force equal to zero this gives t2 equal to mg equal to 10 newtons considering the joint of t1 t2 as our system since the system is an equilibrium net force equal to zero now resolving the forces in vertical and horizontal directions f sin 45 minus t1 sin theta equal to 0 this case t1 sin theta equal to 7 newton and t1 cos theta plus f cos 45 minus t2 equal to 0 this gives t1 cos theta equal to 3 newtons therefore theta equal to 66 degree and t1 equal to 7.5 newton now what happens if the whole system is placed in a lift accelerating upwards at 2 meter per second square in that case, net force will be equal to mass into acceleration, that is T2 minus mg equal to mass into acceleration. This gives T2 equal to mass into g plus a, which is equal to 12 newtons. And T1 sine theta equal to F sine 45. This gives T1 sine theta equal to 7 newtons. T1 cos theta plus F cos 45 minus T2 equal to mass into acceleration. This gives T1 cos theta equal to 7 newton and theta comes to be 45 degree and T1 equal to 10 newtons. Now, four masses of 10 kg each are connected at the two ends of a light string as shown in the figure. String passes over light frictionless pulley. Find the acceleration and tension when masses are released. Masses on two sides of pulley are equal, so force acting on two sides is equal. Acceleration of masses is zero as net force on the system is zero. Taking the two masses on left side as our system, net force in downward direction equals mass into acceleration due to gravity equals 200 newtons. This force is pulling the string at A in downward direction. As for third law, string will pull the masses in upward direction. As per first law, net force has to be zero since there is no acceleration of the system and therefore tension T1 equals 200 newtons. Similarly, we see tension in string at B that is T2 equals 100 newtons. Now let us shift one of the mass from left side to the right side. Now mass on right side is 30 kg and left side is 10 kg. Gravitational force is obviously more on right side and will cause acceleration of the masses. Net force equal to mass into acceleration. This gives acceleration equal to 5 meter per second square. On the left side of the pulley, M3 is pulling the string downward with a force M3 into G equal to 100 newtons. T1 is pulling the mass M3 in upward direction. Taking M3 as a system, as per second law, net force equals mass into acceleration. That is, T1 minus M3 into G equal to M3 into acceleration. This gives T1 equal to 150 newtons. Taking now M4 as our system, T3 comes out to be 50 newton. When blocks start acceleration, accelerating, tension T1 reduces to 150 newton from 200 newton as seen in earlier case. By simply adjusting the mass from left side to the right side, we see a reduction in tension 
If the whole system is hanging from a spring balance, we will see a reduction in weight of the whole system.